Hello YouTube, I'm Robert Foley and this is a video on how to overclock your graphics card. Now I know a lot of you may be thinking, duh, you just use MSI Afterburner or just a few things and you're all good. But some of you may be wondering because you just got a new gaming PC and you want to know how to overclock or you've just never experimented with it before and you want a little tutorial on it before you get going. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to overclock and then how to adjust fan settings, make your own fan curve um, for when it ramps up and stuff and you can see everything here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, um, first disclaimer, sorry that I'm using Windows Arrow mode, it's just um, with Windows 7, I mean non-Arrow, you need to not, you, I need to be in Windows 7 basic mode to do anything, so, yeah, that's, I normally have a different background and everything's much better normally, but anyway, um, so first thing you're going to want to do is download MSI Afterburner from the link in the description down below, um, and with MSI Afterburner, you can do um, a lot of cool overclocking things. There's actually an Android app. It's uh, really cool, so I will show you how to do that. Just launch it, which mine's right there on my other display. Um, so here I have a GTX 960 4GB uh, edition from um, Gigabyte, and uh, really all it is is adjusting a few things. There's a bunch of profiles that you can have here. You can apply overclocking at system startup. Right now, I don't have it overclocked because I only uh, overclock when I um, when I play a video game. Um, so that's why that. But as you can see, you can really look at everything. It shows every individual second here. Um, it's really really cool uh, this app, and uh, even the Android app is really neat. Um, all right, let me just get rid of that, and it's gonna be right back there. Um, so, what I'm going to do, just to overclock real quick, um, you can adjust all this stuff. I'm just going to ramp my fan up and see if you guys can hear that. And you'll see my temperature go down. I'm guessing you can't hear it, but it's pretty loud. But as you can see, my temperature is going down. So really, it's just a bunch of adjustments that you have to do. You just click apply when you're done with them. Auto should not be a hundred. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna uh, boost my core clock a little bit here. Um, right now, if I just change my theme real quick, if I go to this, you can. There's a bunch of themes you can download as well. So right now, I'm at 999 megahertz. So I can't overvolt it or anything, but I can adjust the power limit and the core clock. So I'm just gonna boost this to not oh my god um let's just put it up a hundred as you can see going up here memory clock I can also adjust that add a hundred to that as you can see my memory goes up and power does go up but um everything just runs smoother when you overclock so then you can just reset everything very easily with clicking that also the fan thing works here um, so really that's all it is. Um, I would look up videos, um, including this one, on what you should do for your specific graphic, graphics card, or just experiment for yourself, um, because there's a lot of things that will work and there's a lot of things that won't work. Um, for my specific card, it's an overclocking card, so you can overclock this thing a lot, but some cards will be really terrible with overclocking. It just really depends what card you get. Um, so now let's go over fan things here. Um, as you can see here, I don't understand a lot of this stuff, but I just go to here. You can enable user-defined software automatic fan control, and you can have a custom one. So, temperature. If your GPU is at 30 degrees, keep the fan speed way lower. If it's at 30 degrees, I want it to be at nothing. 30 degrees, I don't want anything. Um, and my graphics card can handle that. I don't know if everyone's card can do that. So just make sure your card can do it, but I know that mine can. So if I reach 40 degrees, I want it to be at 10%. Just a lot of playing around that I'm doing here. That's pretty much how that works. Um, monitoring, you can choose what you want to monitor here. Um, 
you can log your history to a file which is really cool um, you can show your stuff in the system tray which bar chart I just choose this then if I click OK there we go so then it just has my GPU usage there or power sorry so um, and if you have one of those old older Logitech G series keyboards um, you can have it on your LCD which is really cool it's actually really awesome I do not want um, power there but I do want temperature and usage so now if I just click OK they will both be there so that's pretty cool um, so yeah this was a pretty extensive um, take and on the software um, there are much longer videos but also I haven't even gotten to everything yet you can set a bunch of profiles like um, it's just really cool oh and these are for hotkeys so if you want like F F4 to be profile one you can do that if you want it to be nothing you can I guess click that um, really really useful um, you can choose your um, I want 12 hours but you can choose Celsius or Fahrenheit I would leave, leave it at Celsius for most of you in the UK but also uh, computer temperatures measured in Celsius so I just leave it there um, you can also change things like this it's this app is extremely like I can make everything bigger too this app is extremely useful and I really recommend checking it out so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace